have John Belazer from Soluna. Come on up, John. All right. Well, let's get started. Change on a global scale requires conviction. And at Saluna, we have conviction. We believe the world needs more renewable energy. In fact, that's how we got our start in the renewable energy space. And we think computing can be a very powerful catalyst for meeting that need. In fact, we believe that stranded renewable energy, energy that's usable, that goes to waste, is one of the biggest unsolved problems for the economics of renewable energy. And we believe that sustainable computing is not only ready for scale, but it will play an integral role in solving that problem. If you look at the, the, the space right now, solar, wind, hydro, and other forms of renewable energy are all on the rise. In fact, the cost to produce one electron of renewable energy is now cheaper than every form of fossil fuel. And that's just happened in the past few years, and the momentum continues to grow. In 2020, if you look at the investment in clean renewable energy revolution, there was $700 billion invested in that revolution. In 2021, that's expected to be $50 billion higher. But that positive trend comes with a challenge. And that challenge is the greener the world becomes, the more the grid's inflexibility becomes a constraint. It's as if the grid, if you look up Wikipedia for legacy, you see a picture of the grid. It's shackled by old economic models that rule out change for, for decades. It's dated by you know, these legacy frameworks. And there's a basic need for the synchronization between supply and demand. Renewable energy power plants are not controlled by anything other than a production schedule powered by Mother Nature, not ERCOT. And so what's the result? The result is that you have a lot of wasted energy. It's called a variety of terms. Sometimes you hear it called spilled energy. Sometimes you'll hear it called curtailed energy. Call it what you want. It's wasted energy. And as a problem, it's growing as more renewable energy comes online on grids around the world. And the grid, these grids around the world were just not built to be nimble to absorb this type of energy. In the US and beyond, the amount of wasted energy is rising at record rates. In fact, our estimate is somewhere around 225 terawatt hours of renewable energy are spilled globally. Let me put that in context. That's about 132 million barrels of oil. We use about 18 million globally. 14% of all the solar generation around the globe is wasted. And so this much waste puts a tremendous financial burden on renewable energy power plant owners. They are under massive pressure to diversify their revenues. So what solutions are there out there for the job? Well, when I talk to people about this, they ask me, well, can't you just store it, the energy? Well, yes, you can. You can store it. But storage solutions are businesses, not just technology. And Tesla, just because Tesla is the most valuable company in the world doesn't mean that batteries are ready. In fact, storage is sort of in a place we like to call beautiful chaos. It just isn't scalable and ready uh, to meet that demand. What about transmission? Well, when the, world, when the wind is blowing in Oklahoma, you can't just pump those electrons across the country to Atlanta or New York or Miami and power the infinite scrolling that people are doing on Instagram or powering a COVID coming out party, if you will. Or just ask Clean Line Energy, for example. Uh, they tried to do exactly that and build huge power lines across the country, and they no longer exist today. So what's the grid to do? Well, in a word, computing. Computing is a better load. What the grid needs is load, demand for that energy. But not just any load, though. They need load that is flexible, flexible load. Something that is insatiable, growing demand for computing that will account for about 20% of the computing in the world by 20, 2030 is something that they need. So what if we could build data centers that could buy that excess energy 
that would otherwise be wasted? And what if we could develop computing that is powered by that demand and is close to that power plant so it doesn't have to cross these huge power lines to get that? That's the, about, that's the amount of uh, uh, flexibility that the grid needs. Computing is also a better battery. And what I mean by that, if you put yourself in the, in the shoes of a power plant owner, someone who owns these huge facilities that are generating hundreds of megawatts of power, what they need is a way for them to, number one, get that excess energy sold and sold to a local source so they don't have to send it across the wires. Second, they need to use the load to just drive just the amount of energy that they're producing and no more. And thirdly, they want to sell that power at a reasonable price because there's no one else that needs that power. So we think that solution is a specifically purpose-built data center for this purpose. And we think that's better than a battery. Because instead of trying to pay for those electrons, they're instantly converting them into something that's usable. And what I'm talking about is Bitcoin mining, cryptocurrency mining. I'm talking about scientific computing, advanced AI and machine learning applications, a host of new types of computing that are all better than batteries. Oh, and did I mention that this can be done on a global scale? That's exactly what we're doing at Saluna. We're building just that type of computing, specifically designed to go after the needs of power plant developers who want to really build power plants where they can sell all their power. And what we do is really help them sell every megawatt. And we're also focused on those data scientists out there that are building some of the world's most advanced applications, solving some of the most challenging applications out there. And they really need to do so by feeling that they can solve these problems and feel comfortable that they're not destroying the planet uh, in the process. Essentially, by bringing demand to renewable sources, we're essentially able to convert what is otherwise wasted energy into a whole new industry that can drive a whole series of advanced sustainable computing, drive that into a whole new market of advanced batch-oriented processes, and we believe that's going to open up a whole new industry that brings this computing that's powered by green electrons to a whole host of different uh, places. We, as Saluna, have a large growing pipeline around the world. As I said, we started our, our lives as a renewable energy development, so we understand that pain. And hey, look, we believe that renewable energy should be a superpower, and computing is a better catalyst. The future is here, ladies and gentlemen, and that's Saluna. To learn more about us, please visit salunacomputing.com.